for Jason, we, we're doing like a messed up chini on the back. We're using hair mousse from Kerastase to create the texture. Then we tied the back with our new product, which is Touch Perfection. We pin everything and we finish with hairspray. Boyish attitude, but feminine. Just a little bit more to me, nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. Today, the makeup we're doing just enhances the girl's features. So it's all kind of subtle contouring, highlighting, and just using eyeliner to make the eyes pop, a little contour for definition, filling in the eyebrows, making them a little bit squarer, taking away the arch. Basically, it's just making the girls look really beautiful and luminous. Texture is the big news of the season. I really want an exquisite detail. Exquisite detail is really craftsmanship is a hallmark in my work, and that's important to me. I wanted to explore that this season in a more subtle way. The beading came in a way where you didn't know was it beading or was it a texture on the fabric already? Was that a sweater or was that an embroidered silk T-shirt done on chiffon? You know, and those things a little trompe l'oeil and sort of playing with your perception of what it is and challenging myself with new techniques. I love the idea of these cozy outerwear, beautiful silhouettes that caress the body, these slip dresses that were barely seamed, held together by a spaghetti strap or a, a metal bar, what I call a tie bar, kind of an inspiration that felt like a celebration of beautiful textiles. And that's juxtaposed with a really important statement outerwear that felt strong, fierce, and really appropriate for today's weather, certainly. Very strong collection. I thought the idea of all those great, deep, moody colors are very much in keeping with what we're seeing for this season. Very luxurious and very chic. When you see something purple or deep violet, it has a real regal quality to it. And women love purple. That color is something that's very emotional. It's something they love wearing. So it was nice to see that. And all the gray we're seeing, I think gray looks so chic right now, be it dove or pearl back to charcoal. It's a really sophisticated way to dress. Certainly a real comfort and coziness as well. Big knits, clothes are a little bit more relaxed than we've seen in seasons past, and he was definitely liking that more relaxed, a little bit of a fuller pant. You know, we're seeing our customers loving pants again. We've been in a dress cycle for so many years. The idea of pants are very important in a woman's wardrobe, and she's buying them. They could be plain front, they could be pleated, they could be something that's narrow or wide, but women are really loving wearing a pant again, so I'm really happy to see designers embracing a lot of pants on the runway for the fall season. What I wear is something that I would actually get it for myself. The trousers with the blazer and the see-through sheer turtleneck top underneath. It has a little masculine touch though, but I think that's what makes it a little bit elegant. Very glamorous. Tailored is so perfectly done. It just follows your body curves. I actually met Jason a while ago and we just started working together. He's amazing, he's got really good taste, great sense of humour and I'm a very calm person so we work really well together and I think the show is really chic. I 
I thought it was great. I was really excited about it because it had such a French flair to it, even with the set design. It, you know, it almost felt like it was an intimate salon style presentation. And I thought the clothes were very sophisticated, almost French inspired. Some of his previous collections have addressed sex in a very hard way, but this was kind of sensual, really luxurious fabrics. Jason works with a lot of the different luxury materials, cashmere spurs, just fine laces, and he always manages to do it in a way that doesn't look like it came off 7th Avenue in 1980. He really does bring in a fresh, young perspective to fashion and shows a way that people can dress in a sophisticated manner without necessarily looking like they come from a different era. Those fabrics must have, have been such a delight to buy. I mean, just feeling all those different materials and being able to invest, particularly in satin, which is a really hard material to work with, but he did it beautifully. I mean, the draping was really sophisticated. And it was funny when he came out at the end, he looked younger than he ever has, which is really amazing to see someone who's gaining such sophistication in the work really stay so lively and engaged that way. The Jason woman definitely has it all together and she wants it all and she's definitely a little bit of a man-eater so I think with these luxurious coats underneath these sexy dresses, you know, that's definitely the mood of the season.